Imagine finally having a holistic way to manage all the information and ideas you encounter over a lifetime. That's the promise of an Ideaverse. But in the process of thinking with one, you may start to suspect it's actually making you learn faster, remember more, and create more inspired work more often. Now it's a result of linking your thinking, note making, learning how to use maps of content, all of which we'll cover before the end of this email course. But now, imagine being able to unify working with links and working with folders. That's the promise of ACE. ACE stands for Atlas Calendar Efforts. Each of these headspaces is needed as you think through ideas based around knowledge, time, and action. That's the secret power of the ACE headspace. It gives you a reliable system for orienting your mind. Okay, so keep that in mind as we dig in. You ready? Okay, let's go. Now, when it comes to us thinking through things, there are three headspaces that we move between. Knowledge, time, action. Now, until the Ideaverse, they've mostly been invisible. Like, we're all using them constantly throughout history, but now we can visibly see all three. And even better, we can easily move between the three consciously and effectively. Okay, and if you're following along, let's go into the home note and twirl down Atlas for now and I'm going to go into Ideaverse map. Since I have Home Note pinned, it opened up in a new tab. Don't worry about it, it's great. So we're going to go down to how to customize your ACE headspace. Are we excited for this or what? Let's click on ACE folder framework. So I opened this one up. I'm going to make it really big right now. So let me zoom in on this. Oh, I zoomed in all the way. <laughs> That's a first. ACE is the most universal folder system to help you learn, remember, and create. ACE again stands for Atlas Calendar Efforts. The thing is, it's not really just a folder system. I just talk about it that way because that's what everyone wants. We feel comfortable in folders, but ACE is really about the headspaces we use to orient our thoughts around. Let that sink in. And there are just three, knowledge, time, action, which map to Atlas Calendar Cards. Let's explore this table below just to understand this in a little bit more depth. So let's just briefly look at this table. You can see we have Atlas, Calendar, and Efforts, and then how they map to three different orienting lenses where we work with knowledge, ideas, information, all that stuff. Knowledge, time, action. Typically, we have an intention when we're spending time around knowledge in the Atlas. It's typically to understand. Same thing with Calendar. When we're orienting around time, there's usually a sense of focus whether it's in the present moment, thinking about the past, or thinking about the future. And then we have efforts. The orienting lens is action. The intention simply is to act. This goes on into more depth, including organizing principles, which brings up the STIR framework. We are not going to cover that right now. If you do want to do a deep dive on your own time, go right here and you can learn more. So we're not going to go here right now, and we're not even going to go into this note until the very end. That's where we'll find out how you can use the folders and flex it to meet your needs. But for now, we're just going to hit the back button, we're going to twirl this open again, and dive into how ACE honors the three headspaces of knowledge management. Okay, one more repetition. Knowledge is Atlas, time, calendar, action, efforts. Now you may find yourself completely immersed in a single headspace. I know who is. Someone who comes into this world, this idea verse, from a getting things done, productivity, grinding, white knuckled mindset. And you're thinking to yourself, I don't need Atlas. I don't need calendar. All I need are efforts, which are kind of like projects, I think. That's all I need. Great. Just go there for now. But life is long and the pendulum will swing. Will you be ready to go along for the ride? Here's what I'm talking about. You may be spending time in efforts when you find a new interest and you wonder, how can you manage all this new stuff coming in? Maybe it's a new hobby. Well, time to shift to the Atlas mindset for knowledge. And then you may be spending time in Atlas when you start on a new job, like that new hobby that you took on, maybe it afforded you an opportunity to try out a different career path. Now you're in this new job and you have to go from meeting to meeting and take all these notes, meeting notes, daily notes. Where do you think those notes go? You got it. They're time-based. They go in the calendar. 
easy to think about it that way. Okay, you're getting comfortable with this new job that you're in, you're taking a lot of notes, you're even synthesizing some of these meeting notes afterwards, and it's allowing you clarity in where you need to go next. That means you have a better sense of the next steps and your desired outcomes. Where do you think that would take you next? Back to efforts, okay? Are we seeing how this is working? ACE acknowledges and supports the three headspaces of PKM. We can go into knowledge when we need to in the atlas. We can go time-based in calendar, and we can be very active, get a lot done in efforts. Whew, that pendulum just swings back and forth. Sometimes it's monthly, yearly. Other times it's by the hour or by the minute. All right, so let's go to the top. And not even with clicking back, but related, I can go to our next stop. ACE also helps you with context switching. If you're watching this, you're probably aware that every time we switch our context, our mental context, it burns energy and it takes us a while to get going again. We want to minimize these switches. We want to be more deliberate with these switches. ACE helps us accomplish that. Let me walk you through a quick example of context switching using the ACE framework. Now, when I'm frolicking in the forest of new information, it's my natural enthusiasm that's leading the way. It's propelling my learning. Where do you think I'm spending time then? in the atlas. That's where I'm note making. I'm probably doing some sense making, some synthesizing. And those things might not be urgent, but they still feel pretty important to me. Now, however, after these long stretches of frolicking around in that forest, the frolic becomes a march. I have some clarity. I, there's something I want to do. I want to share with somebody. I, I have a deadline I have to meet. All of a sudden, I have more tangible outcomes. So I'm going to switch my context from knowledge in the atlas to actions in efforts. You got it. So then we go into efforts. And there are other times though that things are just kind of bombarding me and I kind of feel overwhelmed. So I'm either going to journal or free write or kind of reflect on how I got here or I just have to jump into the next meeting and take notes. Where do I go then? Where do I go next? You got it. Into the calendar where I can talk with present me, past me, and yes, future me. These context switches can happen in the moment, hourly, daily, weekly, and beyond. In this way, ACE honors knowledge, time, action equally, and it naturally nudges you to remember those spaces that you spent a little bit less time in. And maybe they need a little bit more attention. Okay, and that takes us to the final stop in this lesson, how the ACE folder framework flexes for you. Okay, let's open up that one. What I'm going to do now is twirl down all the folders. I don't know if you've seen this from me just yet. What I want you to see is in Atlas, we have a high level place for high level notes called maps. We have all those micro notes in a folder simply called notes. And then we have a few utilities, images, templates, and you know doodads like that. What I want you to notice though is in calendar, we also have a high level sort of folder called logs. And we also have the micro notes for calendar under notes. Now the same thing repeats itself in efforts. We have the micro notes for specific efforts, but we also have those macro high level maps on ongoing simmering and sleeping. In a future lesson, we're going to go over the four intensities of efforts. This is a serious game changer. I can't wait for this to reach more and more people because I have the feeling that when it comes to working with ideas, efforts are going to lead the way forward. We are not just going to abandon projects, but when we need the space for ideas to breathe, our minds are going to think better when we think of them through efforts. Again, that's in a future lesson. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, I don't know, Nick, all these folders, that's not for me. That's too many folders. I want it to move away from folders. I want to use links more. Why are you giving me all these folders? Well, good news. This is where you come and bring yourself. This is where you can customize it. This is basically the bare bones template, and then you can carve away or you can add to it. And I want to show you a little bit of both. As a beginner, you don't need to worry about copying other people's systems. Why is that? It's because you need to earn your own structure. So a beginner, all they need is Atlas, calendar, efforts. Don't worry about those subfolders. Put bits of knowledge in Atlas, put meeting notes and random notes in calendar, 
and put you know these project related notes if that's that's probably what a beginner will know call them projects or put them in efforts now the navigator has more experience with knowledge management that means that they've had necessary time to earn their structure beginners don't need what the navigator has so you'll you notice the nav i have three twirl downs just for this sort of navigator mindset i would be a navigator right now so uh, maybe someday i get to zen master but i'm not there yet so how does a navigator handle the atlas You'll notice the three main folders, maps, notes, utilities. But what you'll notice this time is that I've kind of made subfolders under notes, just so I can kind of group those ideas together. For me, managing um, outside sources is important. Having a place for people where I can honor them and link them to different things, very important. I don't need any of these subfolders. Links do all the hard work for us these days. However, I just kind of like it. I'm a navigator, I like it. Let's move forward. How could a navigator use calendar? In this case, you might have logs and notes like you see on the left, and you might have a couple more over time. You might have a past year subfolder, as I have here for you. You might also have a compass where you have these really high level planning notes, these planning and reflection notes. That's what I do anyways in my main Ideaverse. What about efforts? In this case, I really encourage you to, even if you're a beginner, to try out the four intensities of efforts that you see here along with a folder for all those other effort notes. You can learn more about that, read this on your own time. That is what a navigator can do. But if you're feeling overwhelmed and you say to yourself, but I'm not a beginner, I don't know, maybe you're aspiring to be a Zen master. So let's close navigator, let's open beginner and compare it to Zen master. And what do you notice? It's the same. So maybe you say all these folders are not for me because I'm so evolved, I'm so great with my links, I don't need all those folders. It's just up to you to decide. But that is the flexibility of the ACE folder framework. And again, today, we've just been talking mainly, mostly, about ACE used in folders, but you're about to find out that there's a lot more to it. Let's recap. In this lesson, we covered the headspace of ACE. We introduced the concept. We look at how ACE honors these different headspaces of knowledge, time, and action. And we said that maps to Atlas, calendar, and efforts. We looked at how ACE helps us context switch. We looked at when we need to be in each type of context and how we can move between those contexts daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. And we finished by looking at how the ACE folder framework can flex for you. Now specifically in this lesson, we looked at how ACE works with folders. Folders are traditional. We all have experience with folders. That's why we started here today. But the beauty of ACE is how it unifies how we think with both folders and links. And that's why I'm so excited for the next lesson where we will walk through the home note of this Ideaverse and see how ACE is used there to effectively orient our minds as we launch into our thoughts and efforts all through the power of the link. You will even get a basic workflow for the ARC framework, which is a major part of the big workshop we run where we help you build and customize your knowledge system so that it will last a lifetime. So when you're ready, click here to jump to the next lesson and we'll see you in the next one.